So if you're in a situation where you're facing a really nasty storm, some type of national worldwide crisis, I can't think of anything at this moment, uh, I have the perfect products for you where you can actually generate power to run small appliances around your house by using the sun. We love that. The sun's out there still, so that means you can still make power. Let me show you what these products are. I'm gonna show you how to use them and I'm gonna show you how they work for me. So the two things you're gonna need is a portable solar panel. This is a RockPal 60 watt solar panel right here. It folds up really compact into a nice case. And then you're gonna need somewhere to store all that power that you make with that solar panel. So I'm using a Jackery Explorer 240. This is capable of 240 watt hours of power. Don't worry, I'll explain to you what that means and how much power that will give you. So let me first show you how to set it up and then we'll talk about some of those details. Let's jump into it. So for today's video, we're really gonna be looking at two components. The first one is the Jackery power station right here. And the second one is this portable solar panel. This is by Rock Pals. This is a 60 watt solar panel, although the most power I've been able to generate from this panel is 40 watts, but that's still significant. Now, this panel, as you can see, is super tiny and compact. It's portable, it's got a handle on top. And when you open it up, there's panels on the inside. Now, on the back of this solar panel is a packet right here, which you can open up, and inside that pocket is the wires to charge your portable power station. You can see these guys will just go in the front there like that. And of course, after about eight hours, you'll be close to fully charged on this unit in good sun. So you might use solar power when you don't have power in your house to charge the power station, but there's gonna be lots of applications where you are going to have power in your house and can use that power to charge this. Now the applications for this might be you're going camping, you're going tailgating, or you're working someplace where there's not access to electricity. This guy's really handy and the way you can charge it is the included charger right here. This is just a 110 volt charger. It plugs into the same spot as the solar panel right there. So they've also included a car charger. This goes into your car and the other side plugs into the power station right here. And after a few hours, you'll have a fully charged power station so you can use it off grid or wherever you need it. So let me quickly go over some of the features of the Jackery power station. Depending on what your power input is here, we'll show you the input up here. You can see I'm generating 39 watts and that's from the included power supply. As I said, if you're using solar, it can be anywhere from two to 40 watts. And depending on how much wattage you put into the solar panel will depend on how fast it charges this battery pack. So if you wanna power something from the USB ports, you have to push this button right here to activate those USB ports, plug in your device. So to activate the AC port, you have to push this button, plug your device in, give it a second, and you'll see here on the output, right there will tell you how much output you're using in wattage. So when you talk about portable power stations, people wanna know what can you power with these guys? And the answer can be complex or simple, we're going the simple route today. So this can power something that draws 200 watts of power. That would be like a small TV, a laptop, something in that size range. If you wanted to power a hairdryer with this, no dice, it won't happen. Now the other question is how long can I power that device for? So this will give you 240 watt hours. Now what that means is if you had a device drawing 240 watts, it would run for one hour. Now a real practical application of that, I tested and it was a fan that drawed about 100 watts give or take and it ran for two hours and 10 minutes. So mathematically, right on the money. Well, the good news is we finally got some really bright sun. I've got my Jackery Explorer 240 portable power station right here. I've got a RockPal 60 watt portable solar panel. We're gonna run these two together and see how long it takes to charge this Jackery uh, portable power station. We're gonna time lapse it so you'll get to see what it looks like. Let's go.
back inside. Now, one of the things that will never grow old with me is making these review test videos, and that's because you just never know what you're gonna get. In that last scene, two things went wrong uh, for the scene, which was totally annoying. Number one, the clock died. And number two, if you notice, the sunlight actually drifted off the table. So at around six hours, I stopped charging. I dropped down to two watts. I moved the Jackery and solar panel to another location in my backyard, and I got to about 80%. I think if I was smarter and put it in the middle of the yard, I might've actually got to 100%. But for those of you who want to ensure you get to 100%, and you don't live in Alaska in the summer where you've got 24 hours of sunlight, you might want to consider the 100 watt solar panel. That's just more juice being pushed into the Jackery. So at this point, you're probably asking yourself this question. Is this something I really need? And the answer is no, but it's really one of those conveniences and it's really nice to have and who knows what the future holds. It's amazing how much you can get done with just a small amount of power with a little creativity. I use mine beyond emergencies around the house pretty much once a month for some sort of oddball thing. So it's pretty handy and it comes in useful in a lot of ways. Anyway guys, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out all my other content, and with that guys, I'll see you around real soon.